Ah, shit. It looks like one of our development parts didn't fare too well in testing. I put it on hold for now. You can restart work from the laptop. I hate we're going to have to go back now and make him. some adjustments in order to get the final numbers looking more like we were expecting from the simulation. <laughs> I waited so long. So long for an aerodynamic upgrade for our front wing. We finally got it. And it failed. <sighs> so it's going to take 500 resource points to get that thing back going. And another week. What's going on guys, I'm Vite20 here, welcome back to the F1 2017 career mode. So we're on to Silverstone this week, let's take a look at the driver standings. So Lewis Hamilton, your points leader by 20 points over Kimi Raikkonen. Vettel won last week, I believe, and he's 66 points back, he's moved up into third. For Stappen there in fourth, one point back, we'll go ahead and scroll down here and look at, uh, look at us. So we've fallen all the way back to 16th, I think we got up to like 11th or 13th, but... We fall back to 16th, just above our teammate, Marcus Erickson. We have 14 hole points. He has two hole points. Carlos Sainz uh, there with one point, and none of the McLaren Hondas have scored yet. Man, that sucks, too, because we used all of our resource points on that one upgrade. We have zero resource points left. So it's going to be at least another race before we can get enough to redevelop and get it back on there. So... Why well, don't we go ahead and hop into practice? Hopefully, you can score a lot of resource points from the practice tests. And I'll meet you guys at the starting grid. Well, on the grid, starting last. Yeah. Not, I was never a big fan of this track. Had some good results in F1 2016 here, but again, I just never was a big fan of this track. So, probably going to struggle today, honestly. It'd really help if we had that aerodynamic upgrade, but that's okay. We're just gonna go out here and do the best we can, try to survive. It's pretty cloudy, it's not supposed to rain today, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Shit start like usual. A lot of cars wide. I love driving just up the inside when they all stack up. It makes me feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> and Sauber. I'm getting that's a good start. Keep it up. Thanks. start I guess. I know we're slow as shit though so we're gonna have to hold on and do our best. Oh god yeah take a shortcut to the grass real quick. That's my apex all up looking at them guys in front of me. Oh man. That's gonna be a long race. Looks like one of the Red Bulls with a flat left rear and two cars collide. Oh, man. Oh, look at it here. Yeah, you can hear it. Oh, man. Both the Red Bulls and one of the Haas cars. So two cars out early. Oh, boy. Well, at least we won't finish last. Unfortunately, DRS is going to be the end of me here. There's a long string of cars I don't like. And once we start going backwards, oh boy. The driver tails out to make sure it doesn't happen. That certainly doesn't help. In a perfect world, I'd be able to drive up there and catch the magazine, but. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, shit. Green flag. 
We're in fucking T9. What the hell just happened? Whatever the hell happened to, um, who was that, Ricardo? Yeah. So Verstappen was the one with the blown tire and collected Romain. I don't know if that car issue was caused from hitting Ricardo or um, hitting Verstappen. Well, that's really interesting. We're, we're up to fucking P9. Jeez. I ticked up a lot of people, I'll tell you that, and I will take it. One car on pit road, and that's Lewis. Now cycle us up to P8. After starting 20th. Ooh, Ocon. That's a mechanical problem. Alright. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, let's, let's have everybody have issues. We could use it in a race that was, I was not expecting to do well. I was not planning to do well. I don't, I don't want to say not planning to do well, but I guess it's just not one of my better tracks. It really isn't. Whew. Just cut that grass. Still holding off Magnuson, but man, he gets a DRS. He's already faster than his sniff a draft. A little wide there. I think I saw somebody coming in the pit, yeah. Cycle up into six, it looks like. Yep. I think we're only supposed to have one pit stop today. So I'm not sure how that's really going to work out. But I would imagine we're going to go here quite a while before we pit. Oh boy, we got Hamilton behind us. We got uh, behind Julian Palmer. So he'll be here in uh, about a corner or so. And yep, he's here. Go on ahead. Must be nice to drive a Mercedes. Maybe one day. Alright, well, we cycled up into fourth. Yeah. Yeah, same spot. One lap later. Yeah, you just, you just, you just go on ahead. Unfortunately, that's brought Julian Palmer up to us. He's on our schedule here. Or our strategy, I guess. The next car behind him is uh, oh, he's back, so... Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this all plays out. Yeah, hey, I'm, uh, I'm really interested to see how this works. Only supposed to be uh, only supposed to be on one stop. I mean, since we got since we got so far up before, I don't know how that's gonna I don't know how that's gonna play out. So yeah, it's gotta be it's gotta get fun. I'm so glad another car didn't come in there on the inside. That was just a really pretty way to get off in the corner. That's all that was. I had some time to give up. Okay, yeah, don't mind me, Vettel. Just, just go off in there and drive your Ferrari. That was pretty damn slick, though. Just let the thing kind of drift off and sit off into the corner. Yeah, we ought to be pitting here pretty shortly. We're still sitting in fifth. So we haven't pit yet. We're the last to not pit. 
I think uh, Julian Palmer. I think he finally came down, so. Don't forget, pit in this lap. Alrighty, so we are finally coming in here. 16 laps into the run. Sure not speed there. Oof. Man, that was a long, long first run. I don't know where we're all gonna cycle out at the end of this thing, but I would imagine everybody's probably done pitting at this point, so as I say that, we got Stroll right behind us. So I don't know. Uh, it looks like we're gonna be racing Stroll and a couple other guys here coming out of the pits, so. Oh, don't make us hold. Yeah, we're gonna well we already lost a spot to stroll. Okay, um, so we're sitting eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay, yeah, so. Eh. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. So we'll be on the super softs to the end. We'll see. Let's we'll see what we can do here. Oh man, I can already feel the new tires. Good lord, I feel like fucking Superman. Oh man, the new tires, holy shit. Forgot what it felt like to have grip. It's pretty fucking incredible. All right, teammate coming in. Marcus is pitting now. Marcus is in the pits. Hockenberg's catching us. We're cycled up to 10th. Pit ninth. Oh yeah, we got Hulkenberg all over us. He's definitely quicker. The gap to the car ahead is 2.4 seconds. I think it's definitely going to be in our best interest just to let him go. Yeah. yeah other than that, behind him. I don't know. Pretty good gap behind him, so. Man, every time I start practice, I hate that section. By the end of the race, I really love that section. Because I can just hit it. Jeez, I ran the near perfect, like, last half, last lap or so. Right up my ass. If only had a good car, man. It would be really fucking cool, though, to get Sauber to a point to where, like, me and Marcus could be battling out wins and championships and stuff. That would be pretty crazy. I don't know if we'll ever get to that point, but... Definitely not doing too bad for uh, what we've got so far this season. The car in front is 3.2 seconds. And whoever's behind Hawkenberg's catching us. I'm giving it all I've got. Oh, hell yeah. I want to say he was in front of us. Well, either way, in front or behind, he was quicker. So that, that ought to help us. Ah, oh, so, so quick, man. Go ahead. Oh, Jesus. That was close. I'm going to say, either way, we've got a lot of grip. We've got fresh tires, but, man, we're still sober. Yeah, Okan's going to get us here. No sense in fighting at this point. I know it's the end of the race and all, but... Like, he's clearly faster, it'd be faster for us just to let him by. And we definitely don't want to fight and get caught up in an incident or something. I know that's points position too, but I mean, he's, he's driving by us as we speak, so. We 
are gonna get DRS though. We have five laps of fuel. So that might help us out. because uh, yeah, whoever's back there still. Again, catching us. Everybody's catching us. Pretty much. Man, if we could just get one retirement from somebody in front of us, that'd be great. I'd like to score a point. Oh, yeah, there's a couple cars behind us. We're just gonna have to hold on. I'm gonna say, his strategy worked out pretty good. Man, we, we gotta conserve fuel. We can't run the rich mix really anymore. Gotta make sure we got enough to save here and we're make it to the end. Trying to get every little thing I can out of this car. We're running out of laps, but again, we're being caught. Oh, wow, that's Lewis Hamilton behind us. What the hell is he doing behind us? Yeah, I guess he's probably going to catch us. There's one we're definitely gonna lose. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's weird. I I think I remember him um, taking an extra pit stop or something. Yeah. I guess that's what that is. And he's just fighting for points then. We do have Magnuson behind us, and he's uh, he's on soft tires, so he might be uh, doing the reverse, uh, basically doing our strategy, but reverse. I want to say he started off with super softs, and I guess he's finishing with the softs, so and he's still catching us. Of course he is. If somebody offered it. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit that. This, this one I'll fight for. I don't know why the AI hugged me so close to there. Jesus, right on my asshole. My god. This is not going to end well. Hope you know that. Yep. The AI cars can only go so far. They like just stop everything they're doing and check up. Uh. Man, this is so much quicker. DRS and everything. where we're going to have to close it. Two to go. And yeah, keep it behind us. I don't think he can catch us before, before the end of this thing, so. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to close it off. Lost enough spots. Sitting P13, that's not bad. Uh, running out of fuel. Sebastian Vettel back to back, I do believe. Giving up the spot. Man, I wish I had more fuel. Nope. Nope. I overdrew it just a little bit, but. Gotta use what's left. There we go. If we can get, yeah, I think we're good. Come on, bring it some. Oh man, 
the set there, but a lucky turn, a lucky, uh, lucky spot 13. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Lucky number 13. All right. Oh, man. My neck hurts. Oh, man, what a race. Everything I had, man, the car was just so bad this race. Whoa, boy, I gave it everything I had just to try to stay competitive. So, a look at the finishing results. Sebastian Vettel with the win. Kimi Rankin in second. Botas coming home third. Sergio Perez, man, he has been having some great races. Coming from deep, 11th to 4th. Julian Palmer finished sixth. Man, he was on it this, this race. He was definitely pretty quick. 14th, he had a sixth. And, uh, hey, I mean, we started dead last, and we worked our way to 13th on the one-stop strategy. So... Not too bad. A couple DNFs for Stappen, Grosjean, I guess, yeah, Ricardo, he held on. He was having issues early in the race. One lap down, and our teammate, Marcus Erickson, one lap down. So, yeah, man, I, if we had a little bit more speed, we probably could have held off some of them guys, but it's like, they're towards the end. Like, you just see, like, how slow we really are when we just get run over by all those guys there at the end. I was, I gave it my all, I, you know, I'm not perfect, I'm not the greatest, but... I tried my best, man. It's just the, the Sauber car is so damn slow. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. It helps me out a ton. We are on to Hungary next race. Then we're on to Spa, Monza, two of my favorite tracks on the schedule. Two well-known tracks for me. So like I said, there you have it. Appreciate you guys as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video.